Uh, we had a question in earlier about wasabi and oh, I don't know, a few months ago now, I went out to do an interview about wasabi. There's a wasabi farm in Winchester and because it's so specialist and notoriously difficult to grow, I thought I'm going to get in touch with Nick Russell who w- runs the wasabi farm in Winchester and he's on the line now. Good afternoon, Nick. Hello, Rebecca. How Hello. Are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we had a no question problem. in from Alan in Romsey, who's trying desperately to grow a wasabi plant. He's brought it on from a little plant, but it's got lots of sort of brown and yellow patches on the leaves. Any thoughts on what he needs to do? Yeah, I mean, um, it's certainly something we see every now and again. Um, and, I mean, you do get natural dieback um, in the summer months because the plants don't like direct sunlight. So you do get a lot of yellowing, and that's very natural. But I think what he's experiencing there is um, basically is a mould-related mildew. Um, and, and so he's, he's got this, um, this fungus on the leaf, um, especially if it's much darker spots. Uh, and the best thing to do, uh, first off, is remove all the affected leaves, even if you cut that wasabi plant right back. Mm. Um, it will come through. You know, they're very hardy, and, and especially at this time of year, they're going to be putting on a lot of vegetative growth. Um, so he can just really, really go to town on it and take as many of those leaves off as he can, obviously only the affected ones, um, and dispose of them. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously then we've got to treat the cause. Um, and so what that would probably be is um, to, to get more ventilation around the plant, just to sort of reduce the humidity if he can, um maybe look at a slightly more well-draining soil um and um just sort of try and, and keep uh in a sort of free-flowing air environment that that would be my advice okay this time of year could you move it outside yeah certainly uh, i mean this ideal growing temperature is going to be between about 8 and 12 degrees uh, and that's pretty much exactly what we're we're getting at the moment. Okay. Our farm's going crazy at the minute um, yeah. <laughs> and are starting to flower as well. So other people out there that have got wasabi plants might see a few flowers coming up. Um, they're also edible as well, so you can you can start munching on them. Oh, yeah. No, they're lovely. Really nice. It looks like from the photo that it's sitting quite low in the pot. Does that make a difference? Uh, it might do, yeah. Get, getting... Um, uh, a little bit more air around the rhizome, around the bottom of those tea seals might well make quite a big difference, yeah. OK, all right. Nick, thank you so much for coming to our assistance. Um, I no know problem. wasabi's quite a specialist plant and I'm sure Alan will take heart from your advice. And thank you for joining. I know yeah. you sent me an email saying, I'm so sorry I missed your email earlier. I was running half a marathon. <laughs> yeah, how, yeah. How'd so you I'm, I'm a bit 80 this morning, yeah. What, what marathon yeah. were you running? Uh, it was the one in Weymouth, um, the one that was oh. mentioned on your traffic report just a minute oh. ago, actually. Yeah. Did you, did <laughs> so you sorry, get, everyone. Did you get rained on? No, well, a little bit. It was all right. Oh, and you got a good time? Uh, yeah, my personal best. I was very happy. Two hours 20. Oh, Brit, now he's just showing off. Brilliant. Well done. Yeah. And thank you so much for joining us. No problem. All right, then. Thanks. Cheerio. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, that's Nick Russell from the Wasabi Farm. And he's just showing off. You says you do, you go out, you run a half marathon <laughs> on a Sunday morning. That puts my 5K to shame this afternoon. Half a marathon.